Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing the TG Beth Head Dumb Blonde Smoothing Stuff. Dumb Blonde Smoothing Stuff. Um, it's 1.69 ounces, um, 50 mils. That's uh, European because they're European based company, so everything that they're going to use is rounded up to milliliters. Um, and I think that's why it's a little bit more expensive hair product. Um, this is $16.95. I got it all to buy two, get two free. So this is one of the products that I got with that deal. And I'm in this nice little cool looking container. It says it's all good because this is all good. And it smells really good. And if you can see, it's kind of like a cream, a light pink cream. And it has like little shimmer things in it to make your hair really shiny which I like a lot it doesn't build up on your hair or make your hair actually look like it has glitter in it it just makes your hair really iridescent and give that super different tones in it like golden and off everything I just like it a whole lot I dyed my hair red brown and the red faded from it but this definitely um makes the red come out a little bit more um, on their website, it says, Smart Stuff for Dumb Blondes. Shine, defrizz, and add the perfect finishing touch created by blondes, for blondes, and all the colors in between. Work in hands and smooth sparingly through style hair to tame ends and add shine. Benefits. Smooths the cuticle, controls frizz, adds shine, and protects against UV rays. Function. Restores moisture and color treated and processed hair. Controls frizz, enhances natural and color treated highlights. Smooths cuticle and fights frizz and over processed hair. Enhances shine and protects against UV damage. Um, and the fragrance is papaya, which, it's a very subtle smell, but very distinct, but not overpowering. Um, it restores moisture and color-treated hair. I like putting, using this because it adds, like, lets my hair feed on something throughout the day. Like, and keeps it from getting, having that dry-looking feeling. I mean, dry-look and dry feeling, which I really hate when my hair feels like that. It's disgusting. And it controls frizz, even though I don't really have a lot, but the little bit that I do have left over from blow drying my hair. This definitely smashes it and gets rid of it really fast. Um, it smooths the cuticle and fights frizz and over-processed hair. My hair has been processed plenty of times, like 10, 8 or 9, 10 times, I don't even count, um, in the past 6 months. So my hair is very over-processed, and this stuff keeps it from not, from keeping it from looking over-processed, because I don't go for the damaged hair look, like... Some people at my school do, and it's absolutely disgusting. Um, but it smooths the cuticle, which, um, if your cuticle is blown out, which happens from volumizing shampoos and conditioners, which some of them do, not all of them, and blow drying and flat ironing, because heat blows out the cuticle, which makes it less shiny and dry, damaged looking almost. Um, because when it's smooth, it can reflect the light easier, and when it's not smooth, then it doesn't smooth as easy. I mean, when it's not smooth, it doesn't reflect light as easily. Um, it's like a mirror, and if it's broken, it, the light will go everywhere and make it look like, what's the point of this, when a full mirror is with the flex light, and that's what my hair is looking like almost right now, which I'm not going to do. Um, and it hangs and shine, like it says. Protects against UV damage. I live in Florida, but I don't really go to the beach a lot. It's like 10 minutes away, but I don't really go. But if when I do, a few times that I do... I use L'Oreal uh, Ever Pure UV Protector, but for now on I'm just going to use this since this is what it does. And I might as well just use one product and switch off every time I go. But overall it's a great product. I would definitely recommend it to my friends. I don't really recommend them that much. I recommend my friends that much because I only come across such good like products like this. And it's cream based like I said, it makes your hair not look oily. So you can add a lot, and well, don't add too much, or else your hair might. But I haven't, and my hair doesn't really look that dry. Um, uh, but it, overall, it's a great product. I love it. I'm definitely gonna repurchase. I'm trying to go through a bunch of hair products that I bought. I have over 50 of them, literally. And this is one that I'm going to narrow down, and I'm only going to choose 15, and this is going to be one of the 15, and this is going to be the smoothing one that I keep, because I really, really like this product. And overall, great buy, purchase again, and 
Uh, if you have my kind of hair or any hair that needs shining, then I suggest this product. And it makes your hair look even healthy. And when you wash it out in the shower, it kind of feels like you have like a leave-in conditioner in your hair, a stage in your hair, but also you can feel it when you wash it, your hair too, which I always love products that do that. So overall, great product. See you next time.